to then go to the client and go, hey, look, like rolling the technology out is one thing, but how you manage that through the people side of the business, how that ties into the, you know, employee engagement and the people experience and helping them understand why it's important to them and why it's going to help them and involving them in the process. And, you know, in certain people in certain roles, you can only do that to certain capacities and ways. But I mean, I, I it totally like when you were explaining it resonated to go, okay, that makes a lot of sense that you can't just look at it as like a transaction. And yes, we just do this. And, here's how we do it. And then you tell everybody how to use it and they'll just use it. It's like, everybody's got a different learning style. Everybody has a different, uh, I guess a different way that they want to be involved or don't want to be involved or how much they have to use or don't have to use and when, and all those things, like so many variables that go into, to, like you said, doing it successfully without any major hiccups along the way. For me, it's like, you're just, you're kind of like lighting your money on fire. If you don't have a change management plan for a new technology, what's the point? I mean, you're, you're rolling out a new technology to people using the technology. So if you aren't going to show them the way that you want them to use it, the best practices around it, why it's important for their job, you know, communicate like when these things are happening, so they're ready and prepared what do you, like, what do you think? I mean, like, what, it doesn't make it, I don't know, maybe because I'm such a people person, but it makes no sense to me. Like, who do you think is using this technology? People, right. right? So you have to make sure that people get it and they're on board. Now in a company of 10,000, you're not going to have 10,000 people be like, yeah, this is amazing. Let's do yeah. it. You know? And if you do tell me about it, cause that's pretty great. Um, but the better you do with this change management plan, like we had one rollout where it affected a really large user group. And there was a lot of planning and orchestrating that went into making this rollout successful. So much so the fact that we had like ambassadors in each of the subgroups that we, that though they had to buy into what we were selling. And then they were like the cheerleaders to their small group because they didn't know us from Adam. Right. But they know supervisor Jane. And so supervisor Jane is saying, yeah, this technology is going to be great. It's going to change your life gonna make your job so much easier. I know it's gonna be a hard change, but I'm here for you. We've got all the tools you need to be successful. Then it's like, okay, well, if Jane's gonna do it and she thinks it works and I respect Jane, then I can give it a try, right? I mean, this is how people work. It's not rocket science. It's like, make it easy for them, have them see how it's important to them, get their buy-in and you're gonna have so much more success than just rolling something out and hoping for the best. Oh, people should not use it. That's what I hear all the time. People can use their phone. People should yeah. know how to use it. How, how many people do you think are maximizing the use of their smartphones? No, we're just getting by. We're just, you know, we get these notifications, we clear them. We're like, what was that? I don't even know what that was. Just gonna ignore that. Like, oh, I need a software update. Oh, you know, I haven't done that in six months or whatever, right? Like people are just getting by. They're not oh, yeah. optimizing the use of their phone. And if you really want a high functioning team, that will affect your bottom line and make your business more successful. You should be showing them and telling them how to use everything most efficiently and why they're using it to get their buy-in.